previously on Majora's Mask. Link versus the Owl. No. Anyway, what's up, guys? Welcome back to Let's Play Majora's Mask. Ah, uh, let me see. So, I told you I'd, like, pick up where I left off in the last video. I pretty much did that, except I did some stuff off-screen. I did the land title deed stuff. You know, where you go get the Moon's Tear, trade it to the Deku in Clock Town for his title deed, and then trade that one to the one in the swamp for his title deed, which is the green one, which I have now. And then, you can take that... Oop, no, this isn't the right... See, why do I always get confused here? I always think this is the main part of the village, and it's not. It is not. It's a good thing I got that bunny hood, because it still feels like it's taking forever to get through here. But anyway, that's pretty much all I did. Just did the land title these stuff. Otherwise, we're pretty much picking up right after the rescuing the ranch girls. So, let's head on down here. And talk to this guy. Um, actually, the first time you talk to him, you want to do it as a Goron, though. Because you can actually get the biggest bomb back from him. Thanks for stopping by. Doing business with the Goron clientele. Make sure you have 200 rupees, too. Because he'll sell it. Well, his biggest bomb bag is actually a thousand, but you can actually give him your old bomb bag plus 200 rupees. So we'll do that. And you got the biggest bomb bag. You can now hold up to 40 bombs. Sweet. So now we'll take off the Goron man. Well, uh, oh, why did I put it over the title deed? Here we go. I'm gonna put on the uh, Deku mask over the Goron mask. <laughs> That's hilarious. Anyway, all right. So we speak to him now, and he says, thanks for stopping. Who'd have thought I made a fail of Deku in a place like this? Yeah, I know. Uh, so we give him the thing. And he says, yes, I want it. So you give it to him, and you get this piece of land and the mountain title deed, which you'll go on to trade into the um, one at the ocean. You know, trade the mountain title deed to him, and you'll get the ocean title deed. And I guess you trade that one to the one at the canyon, and and who knows what you get then, but... Well, you get the flower to go get the heart piece, so you pretty much get that from every one of these exchanges, though. So it's kind of like a, just one big chain reaction, but if you wore back to the first day, like I did, you have to start the chain reaction over and st go back and get the moon's tear and just start the whole thing over again. So it's just something to keep in mind. Ha ha. Yeah, that's just so funny. There's actually a hard piece near here that I could get if I had the hook shot and the Scarecrow song. Speaking of which, I believe we can get the Scarecrow song now. Yes, I'm going to go do that because I don't want to forget to do that. I mean, I could have done it. The thing is, I could have shown myself doing the whole... doing that whole thing, that exchange, and I could have gotten the Scarecrow song on the way. I hated walking by that Scarecrow while I was doing that exchange and not being able to, you know, write my song. I do have a Scarecrow song in mind, so that's good. We don't have to sit, we won't have to worry about me sitting here deciding, like, oh, I'm going to come up with a really impressive song or something. No, it's not that impressive, but it's something. So we're just going to go do it now. Stockpot in. How's Anju doing? Anju. See, he's already warped to the... Or, he's already warped to the side, so I could go in, because I already told him the number before. So, that saved us a little time, me having to put in that stupid code. Oh, but landing in the water, now that doesn't save no time. I ain't afraid of no ghosts. So, th we have a shit ton to do before the third temple. I mean, a shit ton. So, I wouldn't be getting my hopes up that I'm going to be doing the third temple anytime soon. Because I really want to get a lot of this stuff out of the way. Not necessarily all of it, but a lot of it. So, hello. That's a nice thing you got there. Yeah, that's what she said. Let me hear a song you wrote on that. Here it goes. Oh, come on. You spoiled it by pushing the wrong freaking button, man. Okay. There you go. How's that? I know, it's a ripoff of the Minuet of Forest. That's it's supposed to be. So, all right. Oh, I didn't want to learn that. What, what am I talking about? I already know that stuff. Whether or not you learn it from him, you basically can use it the moment you learn the song of time. Okay, guys, I am back. I decided to just go ahead and meet you out here because it just takes too long to do all that backtracking. So here we go. 
I'm going to turn into a Goron now, and I'll show you what else you can do. As you figure, they give you this Goron ability, and you can go really fast, but there's not a lot of places where you can really use it. But then you see Termina Field and think, well, there must be something you can do with it out here. Well, it turns out there is. There's holes out here, and if you go into these holes, I'll show you where all four of them are. There'll be four different holes, and in each one, there's an arrangement of statues here. And what you have to do is go up to the big one and play the Goron Lullaby. And when you do that, the statue turns a different color. It turns red. Yeah, because I'm sure you guys can't see what color that is, so I'm here to tell you it's red. Just in case. Well, maybe you're colorblind and it looks green, in which case Link's hat is red. And that must look really weird. Of course, it'd be no different than a red tunic, I guess. So that's the first hole between Milk Road and Southern Swamp. Number two is up by the observatory, and these are in no particular order. Well, they're in the order that I saw them in the walkthrough, but... Oh, shoot, I went the wrong way. I was supposed to go up that hill there. You probably run your magic down pretty fast. Man, I picked up some rupees there. Yeah, up here by the observatory on the north side of it, there is a hole up here. And this will be number two. In each one of these holes, it'll be a different one of the statues that's big. So you have to go to the big one and play. I don't know if you have to go to the big one and play it, but that's what I did, so... And I know I don't have to show this every time, but I figure, well... Yeah... Just have to make up my mind. I was actually going to vlog a little bit because I was just playing this game, like, on my practice file, which I haven't touched in, like, two weeks. Well, I finally went back to it today to try some stuff on it. And, uh... I had a rather depressing cycle of three days that I went through on that. Huh. Uh, I tried to do something and I kind of failed because I guess I just didn't have what I needed. Oops, I'm not supposed to go here yet. Thankfully, Epona actually does grant you access to the east and west areas. That was the canyon, which is the east area. Now, for hole number three, I'm going to come up here to... Uh, the north side of Termina Field and right along the fence here. Wait a second. Is that right? Shoot, don't tell me I didn't forget. I think it might be over here. Because I know the other... Yeah, it's right here. Okay. Because I know where the other one is. <coughs> okay. So here we go. Dun, 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 dun. Yay. Playing the song again. Yeah, that's... Uh, I don't want to say too much, because then I need a bunch of people saying, well, you have to do this, obviously, you know. The game tells you that. <laughs> yeah, fortunately, the game did tell me most of what I had to do. But there were a lot of parts where it kind of keeps you hanging on what, what exactly you have to do or what you have to wait for. And I'm sure I probably missed, like, a whole bunch of things just in the middle of it. But anyway, I ended up on the third day, and I had, like, a few minutes left. And I got the postman's hat, but I had, like, five minutes left at that point, and I was like, oh, shit. So I just went into the hotel, or went into the inn with Anju. Well, there, that just gives it away right there, doesn't it? Yeah, I sat in the room with her and just watched her die, basically. I didn't want her to be alone, so I died with her, I guess. Well, I mean, I played this on a time when there was, like, a half a second left, but I thought maybe somehow at the last second, something would happen. But I knew it wasn't going to because I hadn't done it right. Anyway, when you do all four of these, you get a piece of heart, so there you go. Now, shoot, I don't have a blue potion. Fuck. See, and that's what stopped me from being able to finish that stupid thing. Or it might have been what stopped me, I don't know. I was trying to figure out a certain thing, and I thought maybe I could use the stone mask to do it. And, well, so, so I go to get the stone mask, and, of course, he wants a blue potion. So I'm like, oh crap, you know, I could actually get the stone mask now if I wanted to, but I don't have a blue potion now either. And I don't know how that whole witch's thing in the forest works on the second and third days. It's, it's all different and shit. So, yeah, I, I don't know what I'm doing here, so I think I'm going to stop the video now. And, uh, we'll figure out in the next video what we're going to do. I'm thinking the next thing I want to do, though, uh, well, whatever it is, I'll, I'll just do it in the next video, and you'll see whatever I decided then. So, bye, and take care. See ya.